Hey Aries, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you all could join me for another week of your general reading. So I pray that you all are staying safe, that you're taking care of yourselves, and that you're being your fiery, um, rising from the ashes, phoenix cells. I don't know why I said that, but hey, maybe it'll come out in the reading. But anyway, <laughs> um, you know, this is the channel where I give it to you straight, no chaser, but with compassion. So if there are some things in this message that do not resonate with you or that you don't agree with, then that is perfectly fine. Leave them at the door, leave them on the floor for somebody else and they will come along and they will pick them up. So if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. We're going to go ahead and get into your reading. So I shuffled these cards before um, the video started. I shuffled them very well. But, you know, I shuffle them a little bit more. And we'll just see what comes out. Rest and rejuvenate. Financial and material changes. All right. So this is saying right now, this might be a time of rest for you, Aries. Like I know I said, you all are fiery. You're full of passion. You're full of energy. You just want to go, 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 go. And I get it and I understand. But sometimes you need to pull your energy back, conserve your energy, not only for yourself, but for other people who might be involved in your life, whether it's your family, whether it's your lovers, whether it's your, um, you know, your job or something of that nature. So this is saying just take time out to rest. Take time out to rest right now because some changes are coming some positive changes, some good changes. Maybe right now or maybe in the past you've been going through some um, hardships dealing with your uh, finances and just trying to figure out which options would be better for you uh, to bring in more finances and things. So this is saying, take this time out to rest, take this time out to think, meditate, pray, um, listen to music, dance to music. I don't know. Uh, watch your favorite TV show. You know, it's not, you don't have to be work, work, work all the time. Yes, work is great. Yes, work is what we have to do in order to, um, sustain our livelihood in order to have the bills paid, you know, in order to do those things. However, take time out to enjoy yourself as well. Um, you know, don't burn yourself out. So make sure you're not burning yourself out. Um, going out in nature. Uh, nature can be in your backyard. Nature can be at the park next to your house, um, wherever it is. But this is just saying, take time out to rest. Slow your... Actually, that was the name of your, <laughs> that was the name of your video. Uh, was it last week or the week before? Slow your roll. So come on, Aries, slow it down a bit. Um, yeah, I know we got shit to do and we are going to get those things done. But don't burn yourself out so much that you're not able to put those energies into those projects or whatever the... Um, whatever it is that you've been working on. There are definitely some changes coming and these changes are for the good though. As I said, here we go with this sacrifice card and then destiny, uh, the will of fortune. Things are coming, good fortune is coming to you. Yes, it might take a bit of sacrifice to get there, but that's okay because the things that you feel that you might be sacrificing now, you're going to recoup those things in some form or fashion going forward. The key is though, don't burn yourself out before you actually get there. Take time to stay still. This sacrifice card is saying stay still as well. Allow energies to flow. Go with the flow of the universe. Go with the flow of, um, you know, the design plan, you know, what it is for your life. Yes, take time to plan. Take time to um, put forth the energy into whatever it is that you're working on. But don't feel as if you just continuously have to just keep doing that and feeling as if you are spread so thin that you're not fully putting your attention or fully putting your um, energies into the ultimate goals focus one thing at a time repeat after me i focus on one thing at a time you know say that every day that's one mantra that my mentor taught me that i have now had to incorporate that into my life i made a big uh sign of it so i can see it first thing in the morning uh, focus on one thing at a time because again a lot of mental exertion can go into um just your whatever it is that you're thinking about or whatever it is that you're hoping to gain 
So you don't want to put so much mental thought that you're not putting any actual physical action or any um, you know, action towards them as well. Take time, smell the roses. Yes, you might have to sacrifice some things. Um, I feel as if people have been sacrificing some sleep. Like I said, you better get that rest though because when things really start to pop off, you're going to wish you had. So, hope and then solar plexus. It's a lot of uh, yellow right here with both of these cards. So somebody has definitely, as I said, just been hoping, um, keeping the faith, keeping their trust very high on something or some goals or some things that they have been wanting to achieve, whether this is uh, for a job, a new career, a relationship, uh, manifesting a relationship. But somebody has been putting their um, all into this. And... They're using, they're, they've been using, and again, here with the solar plexus chakra, if you're not familiar with the solar plexus, and I've explained this a couple times, but I'll give a little brief rundown. You know, we have seven main chakras within our system that each correlate to, um, you know, things that happen to us in life, you know, or our, our own emotions, our own feelings, you know, so the solar plexus chakra that deals with the confidence, that deals with strength and willpower, integrity, having the strength and the integrity to actually go after what it is that you want. And also keeping the faith, um, keeping the faith at an all time high right there. That's what they're saying. When both of these cards come together, keeping your faith very strong. So somebody has, as I said, been doing a lot of hoping, wishing, just praying, meditating. If you have not been in that, then make sure that you are keeping your faith, keeping your trust, keeping your beliefs, while also taking the action to get to those next steps. So remain balanced, remain balanced, because you don't want to forget to um, rest. As I said, no burnout, no burnout. I know you all are fiery. You all are the fire signs. I totally get it. I totally get it. But do not burn yourselves out before you get there. Firm foundation and positive movement forward. So, yes, yeah, somebody has been um, somebody has been dealing with working on their foundation, working on their own stability. So this stability can come in the form of you know making a stable home life for your family, for your children for um, whoever might be in your environment. But this is, as I said, it's all, it all boils down to the internal, making sure that your structure is um, standing tall, enough for you to be able to uh, maneuver into whatever situations that you need to be in in life. And in order for you, for your structure to be maintained, you're going to have to rest. You're going to have to take some time out for yourself. I know it might be hard, but make sure you're doing that. You're working on your own stability within yourself. And then um, this will propel you know, you to move forward. And if this is not your energy, Aries, then, okay, this is talking about somebody or something within your energy. But mainly, I feel as if this is dealing with you. Somebody has also been, um, I feel, struggling with moving forward. So because their foundation or because they feel as if some kind of foundation or some kind of structure or something that they had before, maybe it wasn't as stable as they would have hoped or they would have liked, then that caused some kind of disruption. So again, don't move into one thing without fully assessing yourself and fully assessing your own uh, structure boundaries as well I'm hearing that in my head so whoever that is for make sure that you are placing the um, the, the the correct boundaries around you or make sure that you are placing the boundaries that you feel you need to don't be afraid to do that again have the confidence have the strength uh, to do that for whoever you need to do that for in your life and again we all are individuals here. Yes, we all interact and we have relationships of many different capacities with many different people within our lives. We wear many different hats um, when it comes to our interactions in our lives. But that does not mean that we need to let people take advantage or that we need to let people just kind of walk all over us. Or I feel as if we are always obligated in some ways you know, for them. Place healthy boundaries. Healthy boundaries are just that. They're healthy. 
They're healthy for you and they're also healthy for the people who are around you. But definitely there is some movement forward. Um, <clears throat> something with communication as well. Somebody needs to work on their communication. They need to have more stable communication. Um, that could be a struggle, you know, for some of you out there who, if, if you're dealing with someone, you're dealing with um, um, some very unstructured communication here. And what did I say? Patience, right there. And truth. So becoming very patient with yourself, have um, just patience with um, your goals. Yes, you're going to get there. We have the destiny card here. Um, you might be feeling as if you might be a bit down on your luck right now or things might not necessarily be flowing your way. But when you set the boundaries, when you rest, when you have balance, when you have um, an even temperament within yourself, then it allows you to see things and have more clarity about how things truly are and how things um, need to work for you. And that just makes things smooth. What do I want to say? That just makes things flow um, a bit smoother, um, you know, than what they might possibly be at the moment. I mean, because we have smooth sailing right here. You know, if you see it, it's the boat right there something about a beach some of you may have gone just gone to the beach or you're going to the beach or um you know i know it's winter time and depending on what area you live in i know here in uh san diego it was very warm today so i don't know what well i guess with cold, the whole covid thing going on i don't know if the beaches are open i've not been out to the beach um since last summer <laughs> but um Something with a beach there. But I just feel as if I'm seeing that image of a beach because that's just relaxation. That's, um, um, you know, just enjoyment right there. So take time to enjoy yourselves. As I said, be patient with yourselves. Don't feel as if you need to rush to get somewhere. And as I said, it will allow you to see things. It will allow you to see things with this third eye chakra for how things really are. Now we have deception and envy. Um, as I said, maybe whoever this is giving you this crazy communication or this unstable communication, um, maybe there's unstable communication because they have other things going on. So always watch out for the red flags. Don't deceive yourself. If your intuition is telling you something, then more than likely, that's what the correct answer is. Never go against your intuition. So many times we have gut feelings or we can feel things or, you know, however capacity that you might receive this information, um, but we go against those things. And then we kick ourselves and ask ourselves, well, why did we not listen to our gut? With this third eye chakra card coming out and the deception and envy card, that's saying, as I said, you can now decipher um, things for how they truly are. If there is some kind of connection that's in your life right here that you feel might be, that might not be on the up and up, more than likely, that's probably what it is. So, you know, set those boundaries. Nothing wrong with that. So Aries, keep doing the damn thing. You're going to make it, but just make sure you get some damn sleep. All right, y'all. Take care. God bless you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.